today we have this sacred kind of feeling that you mustn't disturb the artists that they're working and stuff like that. All the great work was done in a pile of noise with people that agreed or disagreed with each other, that some works, it was smelly, like when they were priming canvas, they would boil the, the skin of a rabbit, you know, to get this stuff. And then put it on the canvas and it would impregnate the fibers of the car and render it impervious to oil. Okay. But it's smelly. <laughs> you had someone else in the corner banging and grinding rocks to make powder, to make pigment. And then hours and days of work to make pigment, which then was put in a little jar with water, so which means that the artist can only work within a limited range of access to that material. You couldn't go outside like that and grab all my stuff in the bank. And everything was, everybody uh, was, was gathered in order to generate the energy that ended up in the masters. So they were not done under the sterile, uh, uh, do not disturb the sign uh, things at all. And that's why I derive both pleasure and I maintain in a sense that kind of tradition by sharing my time today and explaining as much as I can to whomever is interested about a process that otherwise is completely secret and doesn't have to be and has become artificially secret. Because when you are anchored in tradition, you can weather any storm. <laughs>